Hey guys, this is Double Wide 6, and today I'm going to be making a video on how to change the oil on your Honda lawnmower. This lawnmower is my, my main mower that I use for around pools and stuff, and it's an HRX 217 TDA, and uh, it's a very nice mower, it mulches very well. The biggest problem with these Hondas besides the transmissions not working is changing the oil um, they have no oil plug on the bottom so what you have to do is take the lawnmower and tilt it to the side to get the oil out the other way that you can get the oil out is to use an extractor and um, someone on my channel mentioned to me that they were looking into getting an extractor and I know Mighty Vac makes an oil and fluid extractor and that thing is about a hundred dollars so I got to thinking a little bit and you know there's nothing wrong with the mighty vac system it works real well it's just a little bit expensive especially if you're not going to use it all the time so um, I got to thinking of how I can make an extractor and I do have a way recently uh, if you've been keeping up with my videos I showed you how um, I used a, a compressor, it was actually from a small dehumidifier, and I showed you how to power that up, and you can use it as an air compressor, and coming out the other end, where that black tube is, that side is vacuum. So what I've done is I've taken the vacuum, and I've hooked it up to a jar, that thing's probably about a half gallon glass bottle. You need glass because the vacuum has a lot of pressure. I tried plastic and it just sucked it right in. And coming out of there I have a tube that I'm going to try and stick in the uh, lawnmower to pull the oil out. And um, I'm hoping this system will work. Here's a closer look at the bottle in case you're interested in doing this on your own. Um, it just I guess it's like a big pickle jar or something and I've used a uh, fuel line I drilled the hole a little smaller than the fuel line itself and I poked some fuel line through there fuel line for like two cycle equipment I have a fitting that I took from my uh, mighty vac I have a mighty vac set I don't have the uh, fluid extractor one but I'll I'll show you that in a minute and then this hose here this comes out of the lid on the other side and uh, it goes into the where the dipstick is and the oil should collect in here you can't just put the hose onto your vacuum and suck the oil out otherwise it would put the oil right into your vacuum or compressor unit uh, I mentioned my mighty vac this is my mighty vac I've made several videos um, about three or four of them on how to troubleshoot carburetors um, using the mighty vac so if you clean a carburetor on a two cycle like leaf blower and it's still not working and there's something up with it uh, I have a couple videos that show you how to test that thing out and they were actually really good videos so if you didn't take the time to see them you might want to look those up and this by the way is a mighty vac 8500 so MV 8500 I could use this to draw fluids but it, it would be used for something like on a car to, to bleed your, your brake lines. You can see the cylinder that hooks up to it is very small. So it wouldn't hold you know, nearly half a quart of oil, which is what you need for a lawnmower. Um, this gauge allows you to vacuum and also pressure test. Very nice tool, very happy with it. And the reason I'm showing you it is because I had to use some of the fittings in here to set up today's experiment so this is uh, the trial run here and what you'll notice is that uh, I propped up the lawnmower it's on a bunch of wood there and that's to try and get the oil to roll towards the dipstick which is there now Honda in their manual shows you that you just take the lawnmower and tip it over and drain it into a pan like that well that'll work pretty good but it's not going to get all the oil out and this method should be a lot cleaner so we'll try it out so this is our trial run we'll see if it's going to work it should pull out about half a quart 
So we'll just pull the dipstick. I already heated up the engine for about three minutes. And we should just be able to feed this down in there. And if everything's working, we should be able to draw oil. I don't know if you can see it, but I see the oil coming up here. Alrighty, so I had it pumping. It was pumping very slow, so I decided to make a couple little modifications. Number one, you can see I put a little saran wrap under the lid. I had a leak there. And I also moved up to a thicker hose, as you can see, going in there. So we're going to try out this setup. You can see there's a little bit of oil in there. Um, but I think it should pump much faster. Attempt two. I can see the oil drawing through here. Unfortunately, the uh, clear hose that I have on the end here doesn't look clear because there's oil in it. Um, I didn't have a long enough piece to run it all the way up here. So you can see we're pulling the oil out of here. Looks like it's doing a pretty good job. I can see it flowing pretty quick here. So this actually proves that, that this setup would work. I think I need to modify it a little bit. Get the right hoses for it. But this is pumping it down fairly quick I think <laughs> so we'll just let it go for a minute or two got about an inch in the bottom there starting to hear some air so I think that's about what it takes. I'm just gonna wiggle the hose and try and get the rest out. So it actually worked out pretty well. That uh, jar there actually has measurements on it. And it, it, I pulled out 18 ounces. And I think that's about what it should take. So now I'm just using a hose and a funnel to try and get the oil in here. It's a little hard to get the oil in these units. 10W30. So anyhow, I think the system worked pretty well. Um, I was thinking there's, there's probably a way that you could suck oil out of an engine using a Venturi. Because I remember when I was in college, I was bending some wood and they had a vacuum bender and we hooked the thing up to compressed air to form the vacuum. Um, I'm not quite sure how to do that. So if any of you viewers know how to take compressed air and create a vacuum, um, I'd be interested in knowing because maybe I could uh, just use a hose and kind of have it Y off to uh, drain the oil or pump the oil out of a, a small engine like this lawnmower. So anyhow, I'm Double Wide Six and hopefully you found this video interesting. Um, it was a little bit of uh, an experiment, but uh, I was pretty pleased with the results and I think what I'm going to end up doing is uh, creating a, a better tank system that's a little better airtight and uh, getting the right hoses and I might use the system in the future. So thanks for watching 
and have a great day.